Hi Hope Kids! Welcome to Wonder Time! We're going to play a game called Stop or Start. The Bible says that God has power to help us stop doing, the, what, stop doing what is wrong and start doing what is right. When you read the Bible, ask God to show you things He wants you to stop doing and things that He wants you to start doing. We're going to try this right now. I'm going to read some verses from the Bible. If I read something God says to stop or put off, I want you to um, put your hands in front of, like this and tell yourself stop. If I read something where God says to start doing because it's the right thing, I want you to point forward and say start. Okay? Before we begin, let's pray and ask God to help us learn what should we should start and stop doing. Okay? So if you could close your eyes, bow your heads, and pray with me, that would be great. Dear God, I pray right now that as we read these Bible verses, you will help us to learn what we need to stop doing because it's sinful and what we need to start doing because that's obeying you. God, give us the power and the victory and the wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, are you ready? Here's the first verse from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 and 26. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truly to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Which part in that Bible verse is God telling us to stop doing or start doing? Speak truly to your neighbor is something that we should start doing. That means be truthful. Don't lie to your friends and your neighbors. We should stop um, letting our anger because it's going to become sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. That means whatever problem or anger you have, stop it that day. Don't let it roll into the next day. Remember, it's okay to feel angry, but if you act upon your anger, then it'll, be, um, it'll cause you to sin. All right, next Bible verse. Ephesians 4, 28. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something useful with their own hands that they may have something to share with those in need. Which part if in that Bible verse did God tell us to stop doing or start doing? You're right. We must steal no longer. That's stopping. And we should start doing something useful with our hands. That means like creating something, showing kindness to someone, anything that we can do to help others, right? And share with those in need. So those are things that we should start doing. All right, next one, Ephesians chapter 4, 29. Do not let any whole, unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful or building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen. Hmm, what should we stop and what should we start doing? The first part of this verse that says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, that's something we should stop. That means if you are gossiping about someone, if you are talking badly about someone, that's something that you should stop doing. But only what is helpful for building others up. So we should start encouraging others and saying positive things that'll make someone feel good about themselves. Um, and it may benefit those who listen. So it helps them, those who are listening. So stop talking negative and badly to someone or about someone and start saying nice, encouraging, positive things about others. Ephesians 4 verse 30 and 32. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. So in this verse, it, again, it says, stop. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, but start getting rid of all bitterness, anger, rage, um, slander, so those like bad thoughts, bad words, along with every form of malice. Malice like evil, like bad ways. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. So that means to show kindness to others and um, forgive 
people who might have done you wrong, but instead of being angry at them and being like showing hatred, you should be um, forgiving them, right? So these are all the ways the Bible can tell us um, and we can learn from because God is telling us to stop doing things that are sinful and that will hurt us and ruin our lives and start doing things that will help us and be closer to God so that we can have that friendship with God. I hope you enjoyed and again, like I said, continue to pray that God will show you wisdom, power as you read the Bible and you learn.